Today we're going to show you the most vibrant city in Southeast Asia. We've been to Bangkok five years ago and to be honest we are so happy to be back here. And this time around we're going to go to the best spots that are left undiscovered by most tourists. As well as this we will check some of the new attractions that appeared here since our last visit. It will be a very interesting day so let's get started. Since we're staying next to the canal we're going to take a boat to our first destination. It's one of those transportations that we love the most because it's so unique and it really feels like Bangkok. We love this transportation because it only costs 12 Thai baht. It's one of the cheapest ones here in Thailand you can do. And also you get a little glimpse into how the locals live and how they take the public transportation to work or to home. And the other thing we love, there's no traffic, so you're never going to be late. So believe it or not, uh, Bangkok used to be called the Venice of the East because of all these canals. These run through all throughout the city. Now, of course, there's a lot of other public transportation. There's tuk-tuks and taxis. But still, we really recommend you to take one of these boats at least once because you feel like you're stepping back into time and to take these boats onto these canals. It's a pretty unique experience. It's definitely one of the most unique public transportations here in Bangkok. To be honest, I can't even say it's a public transportation because it's like a... Luxury a, cruise? A, no, definitely cruise, it's some kind of experience and I, I want to repeat, it was like a oh, great start, great. So we're going back. Yeah. <laughs> so this is it, our first stop of the day with a beautiful name True Love at Neverland. It's a very unique cafe where you can come and grab coffee and food, but that's not why we came here from. They also have a large number of huskies and visitors can actually come here and interact with the animals. I love the dogs so much that there was no way it wouldn't be our first stop of the day. So let's go. enjoy the coffee and watch them but the best part is that twice a day you can get inside of the play area and play with all of them don't be afraid <laughs> you are not a husky you're not a husky you got so offended yeah, yeah you can see hello hello yeah. <laughs> How to walk here even. Beware of the puppies. <laughs> so I can play with more than 20 huskies, but those have other cute breed dogs. This cutie, look at him. They're all around. There's another one here. She chose me. It's like a wolf on you. Heavy? So the best part is at the very end, you can take a photo. Let's in the video go. with all the doggies. Look at the camera, please. Look at her face, pure puppiness. He's <laughs> cuddling her. <laughs> One, two, three, chapo. Heavy, no? So heavy, bro. I know. It's a good gym. I want to go to the gym every day. <laughs> the photos would be very nice, but definitely. Yeah, good memory. Yeah, experience. <laughs> what an incredible way to spend an hour here. The time just flew by and you really see how they treat the animals very, very nicely with lots of love. And the dogs are so cute and adorable. I don't know, they give so much love and positive energy. So I don't know if there is a better way to start the day here in Bangkok. Don't know how we're going to top this one, No, but wait. we will try. <laughs> So there are so many floating markets here in Bangkok, but we came to one that is supposed to be less touristy. We just came here and it's so beautiful. There are these local houses as well as the bright temples next to the canal and also this Thai vibrant boat coming and stuff. I don't know, I already love it, but we still have so much to check it out. It's really a lovely place. There's lots of these uh, little tables and restaurants you can sit at. The prices are actually very affordable, uh, comparing that you have very nice view of the river and also people just uh, on the little boats, the colorful boats cruising down the, the river. So you can just like sit here and like look at this view and you can just enjoy it. This place looks very popular. You should go inside. Uh -huh, it's called the Artist House of Bangkok. 
I feel like this entire district is an art house. <laughs> so this one is perfect name for the place. No wonder this place is so popular. It's not only a cafe, but also a shop where you can buy a lot of different unique things, but also you can make your own jewelry. We also saw people with canvases painting whatever they want to paint. You know what else I noticed at this cafe that I think I've never seen anywhere in the world? Nobody is using their phones. Nobody's using their phones, nobody's on their laptops. Everybody's just doing their own crafts, talking. It's so, so weird. We're the only ones with electronics here. I think we just discovered the creative hub of Bangkok. So we bought a little book. Um, it's by the owner and the artist of this uh, artisan cafe. And it's also inspired by Little Prince. Like if he lived into 2020, what he would write. The war has gone on far too long with no signs of ending. What is the future of the world? It's crazy to me that this place is not very touristy. Well, there are some tourists, most of them are on these boats and they just drive by, they see how beautiful it is, but they never stop, I don't understand. It feels like this is the only place that's only for locals. It's very perfect for us. So on the way to the floating market, we actually saw a huge Buddha. You literally can't miss it, it is so big. Let's go see what's all the height about. That was Lithuanian sense of humor, but let's go. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> wow. Can you see the top? It's so big, like it's so impressive. It's it's just hard to speak. Like from first it was big, but when you come here, it's enormous. It's gigantic and it's actually very, very beautiful. I think there's not enough words for big to describe it. Mm, my vocabulary. <laughs> <laughs> but it's... <laughs> Times a million. Crazy. Well, people have to lay on the ground to fit it in the camera. It's so big. <laughs> and get the best photo. Do everything. But there is no way. She's also doing it. <laughs> Did you take so we've actually come to find out that it's the biggest Buddha in all of Thailand. It is 92 meters in height and it's made entirely of concrete and covered with gold. She has two ice creams. <laughs> Not very often you can see the biggest Buddha statue in Thailand. So um, I'll stay and enjoy a little bit. But there's also a pagoda right behind it. Hmm? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you always look up here. <laughs> is your neck hurt yet? floor of the pagoda is some kind of uh, exhibition there's a lot of statues of buddhas temples as well as pagodas and on the second level people there's a place for people to meditate and say their prayers but the top floor is the most beautiful one there's a pagoda that's made entirely of jade it gives you some kind of psychedelic feelings it's like a great place to meditate and get lost in your thoughts Actually, we've come to find out that this place is perfect for meditation because it used to be the home of this very famous Buddhist that spread the word of Buddhism as well as meditation in Thailand. Those are my nerd glasses I was putting on. So beautiful, honestly. I can't believe that we are here and we see this and I feel like it's, today is the day when we see the most beautiful parts of Bangkok. Chinatown has absolutely everything you can imagine. All kinds of fruits, all kinds of vegetables, food that you can't imagine, food that you can't even imagine. Trust me on that one. But there's one place that we're heading to next, which might deserve a Michelin star. So this place right behind me is known for its fried donuts. I think everybody in the world has something similar to this, some kind of donut, but this one is supposed to be the best in the world. Not according to me, I haven't tried it yet. I will, but according to Michelin, who put this place on their Michelin plate and telling everybody that this must be the best. Let's try it. Ooh, it's still hot. 
supposed to be best when you eat it when it's fresh. It's really crispy but seems soft on the inside. And you're supposed to eat it with this custard which is uh, called panda sauce. Mmm. Cream is very sweet but the dough itself is not sweet at all. It's like a little bit salty even. Perfect combination. It is believed that these donuts were brought here by Chinese immigrants and this specific stall has been frying these donuts since 1976. I'm not a nerd, I just really love when food or vendors have story. Actually, we learned that 14% of Thai people have ancestors that dating back to China. And that's why they've been passing down this generation after generation. They pass down their traditions. And that is why this Bangkok uh, Chinatown is one of the most vibrant and one of the most uh, beautiful ones. And you definitely have to put this on your bucket list to visit when you're in Bangkok. And now we're heading to the highest building in Thailand. It's 340 meters high and we are going to the top of it for the best views of Bangkok. Our boat is next. Oh ho! That's the one we get. The big one. River Express. bad news. It started to rain outside, so for safety reasons they're closing the rooftop. Worst part is that they can't refund you, so you can only go up to the 74th floor. So that's what we're gonna do and we hope that when we're up there the rain will just pass and they'll clear it and we'll be able to go up to the top. We'll see. Fingers crossed. So just getting up there is quite entertaining. We had to take the fastest elevator in Thailand to the 74th floor in under 50 seconds. That's quite quick. <laughs> just bought from that elevator but here we are 74th floor which has the indoor 360 view of Bangkok this is where we're gonna wait until hopefully the top is open <laughs> Sun is already set and there's lightning all around us. I don't think there's any way they're gonna let us up there. And Bangkok is gone. So we decided to rain on our parade, so we're gonna end our day here. Um I'm still so grateful that we got the chance to see Bangkok from above and like the whole day was crazy and I realized I missed Bangkok honestly yeah. and that we have to come here more often than once in five years because there is so much to do here the city is just like so interesting so vibrant gives you this energy it's incredible but luckily it's our first day here so we yeah. still have time we hope that the weather changes becomes better so we can record more videos and we hope to see you in our next one bye bye